Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to Electronics with Professor Mughal. A lot of you have requested me how to program FPGA board. Well, there are several ways of, you know, uploading your uh, files onto FPGA board. And this could be any FPGA board. In this case, I'm going to use basis three board like, you know, I'm, I have. Well, one of the ways is JTAG programming. The second is the USB programming. And the third one is downloading your bin file, dot bin file into your SPI, basically gets stored in the ROM. So one of the advantage of doing that, uh, which is not the case for the other two programming ways, is if you get your project file saved in, uh, and you upload it into ROM, it basically stays there even when you, you know, turn the power off. So one of the advantages, this is actually great for when you are doing a project or a demo in front of your instructor, you wanna upload your project files, you wanna upload your bin file, onto the ROM so it stays there and you can do a demo so I'm it's actually a very it could be very tricky but I'm gonna show you a few very easy steps just follow along and you can get it done and like I said you know it can be done via any other FPGA in my case I'm gonna use basis 3 board which has a ROM from Spension Spension and also those who may have basis 3 board as well you may have ROM from another company, uh, which is Micronix. So make sure you pick up the right. I'm going to show you a few steps right here. I have some projects right here that I've been working, that I've worked on recently. I'm just going to pull one of them real quick. Uh, maybe I can just go with this restaurant signage. And the very first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your JP1 on your board is actually hooked up to, it's actually set to QSPI. There are, like I was telling you, there are three different modes uh, that you could actually take to program your board. One is the USB JTAG, and the last is the QSPI, which is ROM. Make sure you have that, you know, jacket fixed on to QSPI mode. Um, so the second thing you want to do is actually go to settings. When you have, once you have your project files ready, you have done everything on that part you want to go to settings and then you would hit you want to hit bitstream here so i'm going to hit bitstream here and then i am going to make sure that i have a check right next to bin file right here and then i'm going to hit ok and it's going to bring me back to my project here the next thing I want to do is I would want to generate my bitstream file. So I go here, click generate bitstream file, hit OK. And in this case, it's probably going to do its synthesis and run the implementation before it would generate the bitstream file uh, because it's this project has been sitting there for a quite a while now. So synthesis and implementation have expired. So it's going to do a new uh, synthesis and implementation so let's wait it should not take more than a couple of minutes all right now as you may know that the right bit stream is complete one of the advantage of actually doing that when we first change the settings to generate a bin file is when it runs the implementation to generate a bit stream file it actually generates both the bit file and the bin file and I'm going to show you now at this point you want to make sure that you have your hardware connected to the board so I just clicked on open hardware and then now I'm going to click on open target and then choose auto connect and if you have the right micro USB cable connected to your computer and hooked up to your FPGA your FPGA board should appear over here right underneath this hardware window which it did for me next step here would be to add the configuration device uh, just know that this right here uh, is my board right here and it might this is my ROM which is from Spension this might not appear for you so I'm actually just gonna remove it simply remove configuration memory device and I'm gonna show you how you add that so once you connect your board this option will pop up at the bottom add configuration memory right here and if you want to click here and then choose your target here you will have to choose your ROM. In my case, it's a 32 MB uh, from Spension, and it's the first one, okay? Some basis three boards have the 
um, ROM from Macronix. So you have to choose, right? Anyhow, it is it's gonna give you an error and tell you, hey, you know, you don't have the right ROM selected. Please go again and change the manufacturer. And then I'm gonna hit OK here. And it's gonna ask you, do you want to program, program the configuration memory device now? Since the bitstream file has already been generated, we know that the bin file is already up and ready. Now in your case, this might just appear blank. So you, what you wanna do is click on these three dots and then you will see your bin file over here, right? If I choose all files, notice that I have both my bin file and bit file here i am going to choose my bin file because if you what, what you want to save the project file that you want to save onto the rom has to be of the bin format dot bin so click ok here and then i'm gonna click ok here as well make sure to have this check on erase program and verify what it does if there's already a program on your rom it's going to erase that before implement your design onto the board so hit OK here and that is pretty much it it should give you a dialog box saying that your ROM has been successfully programmed and at this point and you know throughout you know this process you want to make sure that your board is connected to your computer 60% done almost getting ready 75 percent 81 and there you go programming done hit OK and at this time what you want to do actually you want to turn the power off of your FPGA board and then after a few seconds turn the power back on and then all you need to do is press on this done button right here this is the program button not the done actually program button you press it for a few seconds and then you will see after a few seconds the done LED will turn on and your program is gonna be uploaded here it is it's basically a restaurant signboard which is right now displaying open during the store hours and as I just change the logic to one here on this switch it is now displaying closed close open close and I'm gonna show you again I'm gonna turn the power off you know and you would think I would lose all my logic my design but no the FPGA was able to communicate with the ROM the files from here were transferred onto this ROM and it stays there even when the power is off. I'm going to turn it on and all it needs to do is I just need to program the board again with my ROM which is already there. It takes a few moments. The done LED will turn green and then you will see the logic on your board. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.